Hello everyone, welcome to the daily morning update. Now let's see how the market have done in the yesterday's trade. Sensex was down by 0.16% settling at 72,987. Nifty was down by 0.08% settling at 22,200. Nifty mid cap 100 increased by 0.96% and small cap 100 gained 0.58%. Let's look at the Nifty 50 gainers and losers. The Nifty 50 gainers are Coal India, Sipla, BPCL, NTPC, Power Grid, Tata Steels and Adani Ports. While the losers are Tata Motors, Bajaj Auto, Asian Paint, Aishan Motors, Tata Consumer and HDFC Bank. Let's look at the sector wise performance. BSE Capital Goods were the highest gainer during the session at 2.13% followed by BSE Power at 2.01%, BSE Reality by 1.11%, BSE Services by 1.08%. The highest loser were BSE Auto at 0.31% negative followed by BSE Financial at 0.07% negative. Now let's look at the market rate. 2201 stocks have advanced while 1591 stocks have declined. Now let's look at the 52 week high and low. 100 stocks have scaled 52 week high like Adani Power, Biocon, Cummins India, Havels, KEI and m and While 14 stocks have scaled 52 week low. Now let's look at the FIDI numbers. FII were net sellers to the tune of 2832 crores while DII were net buyers to the tune of 3788 crores. Now let's look at the global queues. Dow has gained 0.9%, Nasdaq has gained 1.45%, SNB has gained 1.2%. The global queues look supportive. Nasdaq stood at record high despite April CPI data at 0.3%, which is lower than the expectation of 0.4%. Bond yield now dropped to 4.35%. Asian market are supportive, hence we expect a positive start for our market today. Now let's look at the result. Jindal Stainless has reported its results yesterday. Revenue was down 3.2% to 9,454 crores. EBITDA was down 9.5% to 1,034 crores. Net profit was down by 30% to 501 crores. It has reported a weak set of numbers. We expect a negative reaction for the stock. Nixon Technology. The revenue was up 52% to 4,658 crores. EBITDA rises 19.2% to 243 crores. Profit was up by 20% to 97 crore. It has reported a decent set of numbers. We remain positive on the stock for the long term. Mankind Pharma, the revenue was up 19% to 2441 crore. Profit was up by 62% to 477 crore. It has reported strong set of numbers. Better than consensus estimate. We expect positive reaction for the stock. Budget paints. The revenue was up 3% to 2520 crores. Net profit was up 20% to 223 crores. It has reported a mixed set of numbers. We expect neutral reaction for the stock. Pre call. The revenue was up 12% to 584 crore. Margin stood at 12.7% versus a margin of 11.7% on a YOY basis. Net profit was up 39% to 42 crores. It has reported a decent set of number. We expect positive reaction for the stock. Titagat Rail System. Revenue was up 8% to 1,052 crore. Net profit was up 64% to 79 crore. It has reported a very strong set of number. But however, the numbers remain weaker uh, on the overall consensus estimate. We expect neutral to positive reaction for the stock. NCL India. Revenue was down 31% to 3,541 crore. Net profit was down 86% to 114 crore. It has reported a weak set of number. Reddington. The revenue was up 2.7% to 20,433 crore. EBITDA was down 15% to 459 crore. Net profit was down 1.4% to 324 crore. It has reported a weak set of numbers. We expect negative reaction for the stock. CMS Infosystem. Revenue was up 25% to 627 crore. Margin stood at 24.8 versus a margin of 28.8 on a YOY basis. Net profit was up 14% to 91 crore. It has reported a decent set of numbers. We expect positive reaction for the stock. Moil. The revenue was down 3% to 416 crore. EBITDA was down 3.2% to 128 crore. Margin stood at 30.8 versus a margin of 31% on a YOY basis. Net profit was up 13% to 91 crore. It has reported a weaker set of number, but the numbers remain better than consensus estimate. IX, the revenue was up 13% to 121 crore. Net profit was up 
9.5 percent to 97 crore. It has reported a neutral set of numbers. NCC, the revenue was up 31 percent to 6485 crore. Margin stood at 8.5 versus 9.4 on a YOY basis. Net profit stood at 239 crore. It has reported a decent performance. Healthy order book provides good revenue visibility going ahead. PT Engineering revenue was up 33% to 328 crore. Net profit was up 62% to 40 crore. It has reported a good set of numbers. Honeywell Automation revenue was up 12% to 951 crore. EBITDA was up 22% to 170 crore. Net profit was up 32% to 148 crore. It has reported a positive set of numbers. We expect positive reaction for the stock. So many ceramics. Revenue was up 8.6% to 738 crore. EBITDA was up 30% to 79 crore. Margin stood at 10.8% versus the margin of 9% on a YOY basis. Net profit was up 39% to 34 crore. It has reported a good set of numbers better than consensus estimate. We expect positive reaction for the stock. Transport Corporation of India. Revenue was up 10% to 1078 crore. EBITDA was up 0.5% to 109 crore. Margin stood at 10.1% versus the margin of 11% on a YOY basis. Net profit was up 25% to 103 crore. It has reported a decent set of number. We expect positive reaction for the stock. Now let's look at the results that are due today. Mahindra and Mahindra, Gale India, Solar Industries, InfoAge India, Vodafone India, Container Corp of India, Bicon, Mother Sumi, Wiring India, Endurance Technology, Ratna Money Metals and Tube, Crumpton Greens Consumer, Three Veni Turbines, etc. Now let's look at the stocks that are in focus. Government counts windfall tax positive for oil producing companies like ONGC, Reliance and Oil India. Infosys, the company and the SAP MRCs collaborated to deliver an enhanced personalized omnichannel experience for clients. This remains positive for the stock. Star Cement The NCLT has approved the amalgamation of three units with the arm Star Cement Meghalaya. This remains positive for the stock. Quick Hill Technology The company partnered with ET Group for cybersecurity solution in Europe. This remains positive for the stock. PSP Project The company has settled a dispute with Surat Diamond Borge, agreeing to pay 170 crore in transfers. The total project value of the SBD. Project stood at 1960 crore, out of which the company has re recorded revenue of 1896 crore, and the revenue re is to be recorded upon receipt of the certificate from Surat Diamond Bosch. This remains positive for the stock. TVS Motor Company, the company launches operation in Italy. This remains positive for the stock. Aishal Motors, the company unit VE Commercial Vehicles enters into a joint venture agreement with Triangle Infotech. This remains positive in the long term. Mankind Pharma, the company clarified that the article stating company's plan to acquire a stake in Bharat Serum is speculative in nature. This remains neutral for the stock. IPO offering, Go Digit General Insurance, the public issued was subscribed 0.36 times on day 1 and the bid were led by non-institutional investors at 0.31 times and retail investors by 1.44 times. Now let's look at the block deal. Sipla, Rumana Hamid sold 49.43 lakh shares amounting to 0.61% uh, stake. Samina Hamid sold 89.54 lakh shares amounting to 1.1% stake. Shirin Hamid sold 63.63 .63 lakh shares amounting to 0.78% stake at 1345 per share. Osaka Pharma sold 1.89 lakh shares amounting to 0.02%. However, ICIC Prudential Mutual Fund bought 55.25 lakh shares at 0.68% stake. Aditya Bella Sun Life Mutual Fund bought 22.96 lakh shares amounting to 0.28% stake at 13.45 per share. Now let's look at the trading tweaks. Today is the X record date of dividend for TCS. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.